Cheryl, residents tell me their fight or flight reactions kicked in when they saw the massive flames shooting out the building as the fire began to spread. Many questioned what to do. As the Salvation Army tries to help residents and first responders impacted by today's deadly fire, bringing some 500 meals to the building, many of those who live in the nearly 300 unit high rise devastated and in total shock. She said, you got to get out, got to get out. I said, what? Where? She says, it's a fire, you got to go. The fire started on the 15th floor of the Harper Square Cooperative and climbed to the 24th because of the wind. That's where Margot King lives. I looked out my window and saw the flames. They were right up under me. She says she smelled the smoke, went to her window, and saw flames bursting from a floor below her. That's when she ran. I opened it and stuck my head out. The flame was coming out so bad, it scared me so bad. Oh, bit my eyes started burning. My, my throat got sore. Hours later, she headed in to see the extent of the damage. Her unit destroyed. We already looked up there. The windows are gone. I live on 24, right in the line of fire, straight up. Bankoli Oluyinka and her daughter, who live on the 23rd floor, say fearing for their lives, they left too. The smoke was everywhere. I was choking up. Not until I saw the fire, I had to run out. Leanne Fain grabbed her husband and headed down the stairwell as fast as they could in sheer fear. You can't go down the steps like we can, you know. He's got to ease down the steps, you know, and I was so afraid. I said, come on, baby, come on. We can't get blown up in here. Let's go. Come on. Other residents say they were told to shelter in place. We tried to leave, of course, the fireman said no, we had to sit in place. We couldn't go back upstairs. A lot of times we don't want people to self-evacuate because they could put themselves in harm's way. I'm alive. My daughter is alive. That's enough for me. Even though I lost everything, I'm alive. And the Salvation Army says over the next 24 hours here, they're going to work with other community organizations to figure out what these residents impacted by this fire need and how they can help. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.